Hi there. Hello. How are you? It is Saturday, April Fool's Day, 1st of April 2023. And yesterday I brought you some information on what is a rainbow, a real rainbow being. It's actually a portal. Um, it's actually a full circle. Um, and for you to also be, keep looking up, like look at the moon, look at the portals around the moon, look at the magnetic rings around the moon. We are missing what is right in front of us. We're asking, I want to know about this. I want to know about that. It's all in front of us. It's amazing. Um, and so this little drop here is going to be uh, for those of you um, who want to know how to see your aura. I'm going to give you something to think about as in terms of looking into other dimensions, um, which is part of the natural nature of your planet um, and so many other things. All right. So we're going to start with real, real, real basics here. Um, how do you see an aura? How do you see energy around someone? How do you see their EMF, their electromagnetic field? Okay, this is what Chris Lamont uh, taught me years ago, like 22 years ago. And Chris Lamont, Dr. Chris Lamont, or the right, the right, the very right reverend, he's a bishop. He is in, in the metaphysical church, of course, not the made up man made religion. Um, he is on my channel. We did a drop the other day. Uh, Dr. Chris Lamont. It's two S's, two M's. Um, he and I have done four or five broadcasts across my channel. So when you go on someone's YouTube channel, go to the top of their page and click on videos and then all of them drop down and then you'll just see the ones with me and him. Uh, I'm not going to do all the work for you, uh, but I would love for you to invite you if you want to roll some more kind of metaphysical understandings, go and watch he and I together in particular. Because um, So here's what he told me years ago. And I could already see I was born clairvoyant, as a lot of you were. I could already see dead people walking around, dead soldiers going through my house and all of that. But it's really nice to get a concise, refined approach. Have someone stand in front of a clear wall, okay? Pattern wallpaper is not really going to help. So try and make it a clear wall. And don't let them stand right back against it, but stand a little forward from it. Now, your job as the seeker of their field, their aura, their electromagnetic frequency, your job is to look at them and then slightly squint your eyes because then you're removing the critical viewing of the brain because that's what the brain does. The brain organizes the eyes, the optical versions that are coming through, the illusions, et cetera, the realities, the definitions. You want to slightly, like this, squint those eyes slightly and then look at the person standing against the wall Look at their shoulder, but look just past their shoulder. Just past their shoulder. Now, when we are looking, trying to see energy, it is not like, you know, no one's having a dump. You know, just relax. Energy to energy. Such a beautiful transition. You will see, you will see energy, the natural energy, you know. And don't let people put you off. Don't let idiots tell you it's the devil no it is the wrong people telling you stuff they haven't thought about but they've been programmed to say like oh don't say you see angels or don't say you see aliens you gaga loony i mean if people are too scared to tell their stories now they need to really ask why am i scared to admit the things i've seen as a child that i see now you know it's really time to get all of that nonsense out of the way so looking at auras, that is the easiest way to do it. You can do it for yourself as well. You can literally do it for yourself as well. You know, you stand in front of the wall, you have a mirror, um, and you can just squint your eyes. Squinting the eyes helps to define the field, you know, because our eyes are generally so clear, we see easily optically. When you squint them, something else in the brain takes over, allowing us to further see more density and more dimensions and energetic signatures and frequencies. It's really fascinating. So have fun with that. OK, here's another one. Um, I have mentioned this before on my channel. Like when I was in Costa Rica last year, I did a, a like an hour on different techniques. But I'm just going to do quickly for you today because more people are coming to the information and more people right now are asking for help, for metaphysical tools and how to unlock the genius that is them, the genius that is the human being. Oh, my God, we are so genius. Um, how to feel your energy. OK, here's the easiest way. You get your hands and you rub them together as fast as you can. 
And as you're doing that, you will notice that your hands are getting hotter. You are creating static frequency. You are using your electromagnetic field or your aura, your life force energy. With Without that, you'd be dead. <laughs> um, you are warming it up. And then what you do is you stop, but don't pull your hands apart. Oh, my God. Fizzing and buzzing. Now, very gently, as minimally as you can, just have, have the tiniest gap that not even a piece of paper could get in and feel for yourself. Feel it. You cannot not feel that. It's amazing. It's a buzzing, warm. Uh, there feels like there's more energy in the, the heel of my hand than my fingers up here. Now, we can use this energy to heal our own hearts. You could ramp up, ramp up the heat and sit, hold your hand on your heart, take a breath in, breath down into the body and just ask for healing from your energy frequency on your own heart. Now remember, when you breathe in, what's happening? Well, number one, you're breathing. But also importantly, when you breathe in through your nose, you're releasing uh, dopamine. Dopamine, I'm sorry. When you breathe in through you, I'm not going to edit. I don't edit. Um, I'm just going to give it to you um, with love. And if I make a little faux pas, I'll just continue, eh? Um, so the releasing chemicals in the brain is serotonin. Now, if you are not making, manufacturing serotonin in your brain, you will become depressive. It creates depressive feelings if we are not focusing on brain chemistry, if we are not taking the minimalist care of ourselves. Breathing in through the nose creates and produces serotonin. It also creates and releases dopamine and endorphins all at the same time. Not dolphins, endorphins. So serotonin, dopamine, and endorphins. Now, on the breathing out, it is advisable but not necessary to breathe down into the belly do you know most of you are breathing up here of course you are you're so freaking stressed out what is happening in the world what has happened your whole life have you not gone through the bumpiest roller coaster of pain and trauma and tragedy and emotion everybody has we all have why there is a design, a system, but don't worry. We're going to get to our own beautiful jewels here. All right. Now, here's another great thing. If you can't sleep at night, right? If you can't relax during the day, if you do any of these exercises, especially the breathing in through the nose and down into the body, I recommend that you focus on this. Breathe in for two and out for four. I'll show you. Don't give me a math problem. Now, when we breathe in for two and out for four, what you're saying to your brain, because you're in charge of this, it's not in charge of you, it's programmed, it runs on automatic, it's downloaded with everything the world tells you and the people running the world tells you. You get to change all the program. So if you breathe in for two and out for four, you are saying to your brain, I am not on alert. As Chris Lamont says, these bodies are built for defense. We're always defending, defending anyone or anything that comes towards us. Do I do fight, flight, freeze, flop, fawn? These are some therapeutic terms. I've explained them before. Go look at my bro broadcast with Lula Bentz, therapist, and Gloria Masters from Handing Back the Shame. Um, so um, when we breathe in shorter and breathe out longer, we're telling the body, it's okay, I got you. There's no need to be on high alert. No need for the adrenals to be ramping up. When you give that instruction to your brain messaging center, and then you physically take the two in and breathe out for four, you are relaxing and unlocking your trauma button. You are relaxing and releasing your trauma button. Now, what are you surrounded by right now? Every time you go on telly, look on the telly, look on the news, Every single country pretty much is under some kind of trauma event. It is a in real time, in real world event. Hello to Space Force and the Earth Alliance. Thank you for everything you're doing. So these real world, real time events are happening. 
and they are horrible and horrendous and amazing and try try triumphant because a lot of the planet is taking its own systems back which is what we need there's a revolution happening across the whole planet and um but what happens is the multitude of frequencies on the planet in those environments are fear fear pain a terror it keeps you down it shuts you down the human isn't designed to live in fear so the human biome isn't designed to have the right defense so the human biome lowers and what happens, the dark comes in and programs you while you're in a state of fear, creating emotional paralysis, depression, alcoholism, drug addiction. Let me tell you something about drug addicts. I watched a beautiful young man yesterday on Jeff Mara's podcast. Jeff Mara, M-A-R-A. Hey, I've been on there too. He's brilliant. This guy, Chad, had a near-death experience and he'd been off his head of five or six days on meth shutting himself in a bedroom in his house. He's married with a child. Now you can go into judgment all you like. The people like Chad, who are targeted by the dark, by not just the bad humans, but by the darkness, the reptilians, the greys, the entities, the demonics, um, the uh, demons that sign up to try to capture the soul of the person that they're addicting. They're the brightest lights. These are some of the most brilliant, cleverest people. So when you're walking down the road and you see a broken, homeless person with no teeth sitting there asking for money and you're thinking, don't give them any money, they're going to go and buy drugs. So what if they're going to buy drugs? What's it to you? Hey, you going to save them, take them home, bathe them? I don't recommend that either because a lot of people are severely mentally traumatized and you don't know what's going to happen. So you have to be careful with each individual people. My point is, we discard. We discard people. We discard countries. We discard groups without really knowing or thinking things through. Now is the time to think, but be safe. Don't be a hero. Nobody really wants a martyr or a victim at this time. There's enough of those running around. Um, gone slightly off track here, but it feels like very much guidance to be able to say some of these things to you. So feeling your own energy, beautiful, ramp up, bless it on you, bless it into your heart, slow down the breathing, recognize the brain chemistry. Now, you can also, you have a child with a headache, you have a husband, a lover, whatever, a friend, you just feel like doing something at your community center, your church, whatever, create the heat in your hands and with the most loving intention, you can put your hands on a person. Now, this does not make you Jesus. It does not make you an overnight healing sensation. I have seen so many people who go, oh my God, I had the most amazing experience. I laid my hands on so-and-so and I'm now a healer. No, you're not. You're just doing what you were built to do. We can all do it. Newsflash. We can all do it. Hey, another blonde moment here. Technology. Anyway, better to be real than a rehearsed princess, I suppose. Um, so, um, yes, very important to be laying hands, uh, putting your loving frequency uh, with another. Talking of frequency, very important to remember. I know most of you that see this, you're brilliant. You've done the work. You're doing the inner work. Uh, you're really taking time to love on you spiritually, mentally, and emotionally. Um, it is time to, oh my gosh, it's time to do so many things. Frequency. The frequency of 528 hertz, H-E-R-T-Z. We say Z in England. You say Z in America and Canada. I've lived in both those countries. 528 hertz. 528 hertz is the frequency of love. Now, boob tube, manipulate all of the binal beats, all of the transcendental music. Be careful, right? How can you tell? You just got to figure it out with your own, your own barometer, your own body here. Something else. 528 is the frequency of love. Now, when we were born, and over these generations, our bodies are beautifully frequency harmonically designed and attuned to 432 hertz. 432 hertz is the beautiful, perfect frequency of this organic biome that you inhabit, this musical instrument, this, this wondrous, wondrous technology of which is the most outstanding and advanced in the world, in this world, and in many others. Unfortunately, the retardos 
the retards in the in the dictionary they put the word retard on beautiful people that seem slow or there's something wrong with them they designed that too by the way the real word retard belongs to your governors your governments your politicians your kings your queens the families that run everything the individual psychopaths psychotic whatever's soulless heartless brainless um just whatever there's not a word bad enough uh to 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 express that those retards they forcibly forced every single human being to try to resonate at 440 440 they literally took over your beautiful signature now i don't care if you don't like me it's i'm not here for likes and if this triggers you i don't care get mad or get yourself in a book Go look this up for yourself. Go and do some looking, some reading, some thinking, or maybe just jump to the next broadcast. Hey, eh? maybe just do that because we're all so programmed to do that. You know, we are all so programmed. Move along, move along, distract, distract. Oh my gosh, it's happening. It has happened and happens to all of us. Um, the 440 um, is a negative, like a discord. It's like playing a beautiful uh, C major scale or arpeggio on the piano and then hitting you know, B flat, E minor, in a minor chord, like bang, that kind of on a horror film, and just something's off. Well, we're all off. How can we then naturally and harmonically attune to our planet? She is at her own rhythm. She sets at her own beautiful harmonic. We live upon her. We are attuned to her. We are in convergence. We are in coalition with her. We are in agreement with her. So you have to understand if you have an interest in your planet and your humanity that these things have happened to you. Someone did that to you, dude. Somebody did that to you and your planet. How do you feel about that? It's not about getting into rage and violence. How do you feel about that? Since you were a little boy, this has happened. A little girl. You've grown up feeling so wonky donkey not understanding why you don't feel you belong here because they mess with the harmonics. You couldn't find your frequency. You couldn't find your vibe. There are children changing gender right now. They can't feel their vibe. This is why. This is why. And that's another whole design plan, which I'm not going to get into on this broadcast. 432 is your natural frequency. 532, sorry, 528, 528, 528 is love frequency. Um, there's always so many things I want to tell you about, um, but really one of the most important things is, is that as you discover and unlock your technology, which is this physical body, as you decide to unlock. Now, if you're sitting with someone, husband, wife, lover, friend, mother, and they're saying to you, what are you watching? You know, what a load of bollocks. Jesus doesn't say that in the Bible. Jesus didn't write the Bible, all right? And don't get me started on the Bible and what we're supposed to do. If people can't figure out for themselves, they've all been lied to. They have all been lied to on many different things, okay? But now humanity, she rising. She rising. She's rising. So if you're around people who don't want you to grow, who don't want you to discover more of yourself, who need for you to go to your vicar pastor, pre-pope, to, to ask them, why would you do that? Why would you do that? Where's your power? Where's your autonomy? Are you a slave? Are you a slave though? Yes, but are you though? Are you a slave? Definition of a slave. A person who can do nothing for themselves, who is beholden to a master or a keeper. Someone they have to ask permission for to even fart. Sorry, not sorry. But are you a slave though? Are you though? You might want to check. Um, if my way of expression is triggering, um, then it's triggering. But gosh, if it triggers you into action, if it triggers you into love for you, then I'm doing my job. I'm doing my job, All right? I'm doing my job. I know it's a tough road, believe me, I've been on it and I'm still on it. But everything that I find within my toolbox that I know works, I am going to bring to you for free right here on my channel. All right. There were other areas to go into. Uh, portals. You are a portal. You are a light ship. You are a rainbow, a moonbow, a sunbow, a starbow. You are a light being. 
And the more that you drop into the darker, denser elements of your physical body, the more you can be programmed down in that lower fear level. You can be owned and programmed only when you are fearful. You remember when you wake up in the morning sometimes and you feel so low and you feel depressed and you do not want to be here on this planet. You know, as a therapist in therapy, we were trained, you know, if you get clients or patients that tell you they're talking about suicide, you know, report them, get them sectioned. Terrible advice, dreadful advice. It is normal in this day and age for us to think of ways of exiting. It means that we're not going to kill ourselves. We're not going to suicide. Sometimes we get pushed into that thought space. And we then think, oh, God, what's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? The concerning ones are those with an actual exit plan, a thought through beginning to end <clears throat> plan, where if they are going to take themselves off the planet, then there is a plan which nobody can ever bring them back from. Um, so we don't recommend that, obviously, at all. And uh, But just to normalize a little bit of some of the thinkings that we have, when we see children being murdered, and people being slain and people rioting on the streets in Israel because that government is trying to force people to retire later. Where's all the money, mate? Where's all the money? Where's all the money you greedy bastards spent on yourselves, on off-planet technology, and you're not looking after your own humanity? Of course people are upset. Of course they can't handle it. Of course they don't want to hear, you know, that they've been lied to, the lies in the Bible are coming out, many of them. There are many lies in the Bible. They are coming out. If that triggers you again, it's okay. Get triggered. Get triggered. Move to action. Move something in your beautiful self. There's no more time. There's no more time to not listen, to ignore, and just to move along. There really isn't. Not that this is to move you into fear, because that's not what this message is about. Move yourself into some kind of action, even if you just look up what does 432 hurts me or play some 528, which is love frequency. The more that you allow yourself to rise in laughter and love and laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh and raise and raise and raise, even amongst all of the horror and the trauma that you're seeing, you are lifting the frequency on the mother, on your planet, on your planet, on this mother that holds all of us. She's a mother. Yes, have you noticed how those words are being deleted? Mm -mm. You are going to allow that. Are you going to allow that? This is Mother Earth. Mother, mother, mother of all of us. So I'm going to leave that with you. Find your aura. Look at it. Play with it. Look, look at others too. Sit and play with your friends in that way. Family. Feel your energy. Put hands on. Even when you walk up to somebody and you've raised frequency in your hands, walk up to somebody and see if you can find the edge of their energy. See if you can find the edge of their energy. It is amazing what you can feel when you're switched in, switched on in your own beautiful technology, which is this beautiful body right here. Um, wear your bling. I do. I don't care. I couldn't care less what one single person thinks of me. If you could imagine in your mind the most important person in the whole world that you know, that you admire the most, if that person said one negative thing, I wouldn't care. I wouldn't care. i say, do you want to borrow this? <laughs> do you want to borrow that? Do you want to borrow that? Well, you can't. <laughs> Get your own. <laughs> Claire's accessories. Uh, anyway, okay. Sending you lots of love. Hopefully those little things there will drop in and settle in you for you to process and think about them and then move them out if they're of no, no use. Use them if they are. Start your own channel, even if no one's watching. That's all I did. Just get on and start talking, right? Do it from the heart, your heart portal, opening, sending love. Always, always sending love. This is the greatest portal that we have, the heart portal. Let's all connect hearts together. Let's all connect love together. And just keep pushing out the noise, all right? Even if you make noise yourself, which I sometimes do. Push the noise out. Focus on getting this aligned. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Bring it up, up through the pineal gland, your star portal, your travel portal, the most single important organ that you own in the body, aside from the heart, your pineal gland. All right. Lots of love. I'll see you soon.